I love Alfred Hitchcock, though I don't know if I love Rebecca, but I quite like Rebecca. It doesn't fulfill the expectations one has of a Hitchcock film, save out of technical precision, which is ultimately the most appealing facet of the film. Yes, Olivier is splendid, but is this really a revelation where he is concerned? Rebecca can linger in one's mind as a contrived, overly mysterious, so not so mysterious, exercise in haunted place cliches without evoking the supernatural, just psychological melodrama, especially where female social politics of its era are concerned. Likely to be analysed very enthusiastically as a piece of feminine psychodrama, invoking Freud, Lacan or Butler, writers more interesting than anyone who makes a career writing about them, but as a piece of filmmaking, Hitchcock has better. As a screenplay, Hitchcock executed much better. As a psychological thriller, its cause and effect is designed in advance to precipitate and sprinkle certain narrative twists. It isn't believable and subsequently vaguely distracting and alienating, yet for those into one-note storylines rendered sophisticated by a lavish film production, smart direction, cinematography, and gripping performers, Rebecca will do nicely, though any Hitchcock fan knows that suspicion of the next year. 1941 was the superior picture, and the beginning of a streak which mostly consisted of classics up until 1972, maybe 76. I don't know if I'd call Family Plot a classic, though it inspires some fondness from myself. Am I off base about Rebecca? I like the film, but not top shelf Hitchcock, in a cultural associative sense, barely even Hitchcock.